Welcome back. In this video, we will look at infinite loops. Okay. So it turns out that in many programs, in many software, especially games, there is the need for an infinite loop, a loop that never terminates until or unless the user decides that they want to terminate the loop. And so you have between a for loop or a while loop. Well, it turns out that the for loop in Python does not allow us to create this effect. So all we're left with is the while loop that allows us to do an infinite loop. Okay. In other languages, um, you can, uh, most of them, you can use the for loop in sort of a um, weird way to get the effect of what I will show you. All right. So my suggestion would be, if you want an infinite loop, simply use a while loop to do it. So what I will do, I will say while, and then I will say true. Okay. And so you might be asking, why do I put true here? Well, true means, as is logical sense, true. So if I say while true, then this loop will never end, right? So while true, do something, all right? So do something. And because this true never goes to false, then we'll always stay inside the loop. In some programs, you might see something like this, while one. Okay, and it has the same effect because one is also considered true. But to be um, on the safe side and to make everybody understand what you're doing, we prefer to use the Boolean value true. So here, let's do something. Let's print um, cookie. Okay. And then let's see what happens with this program. Right, so notice it's giving me cookie, cookie, and there's no way for me to get out. Except if I press Control C on the keyboard. Control C. Okay, no, nope, doesn't terminate. Control C. Yes, Control C uh, stops the program, right, which I refer to as a keyboard interrupt. So obviously, we need a way for the infinite loop to exit gracefully all right and currently we don't have that so let's do this let's um let's ask the user to enter a word so let's say uh use let's say word input um enter a word and what I'm going to do, obviously, I will have to check if the word is, or the, or the string, sorry, is Q. Okay. If it's Q, then I will break. Okay. I will break. So the break keyword allows me to exit a loop prematurely okay so I will say if word that lower okay and we are familiar with it that lower is small q then I want to break. And what does break do? Break actually takes me out of this while loop. Or it takes me out of any loop that I am in. Okay, so if I am in a fur loop and I encounter a break, then it actually takes me out of this loop which is what we want okay okay so let's give this a try 
enter a word let's say cut right and it, he, it will ask me again cut um, maybe nibble all right maybe um, recluse Right. So let's see what would happen if I type Q. It terminates the program. Okay. And notice that I could terminate the program by typing a capital Q. Right? Because I am using this very useful idea here. Take the input and convert it to lowercase. That way, I only need to check for a small q. All right. So we could do something else. We could echo the word um, back to the console. So we could simply say print word. Okay. And then if we say um, uh, herb it gives me back herb if I say something like um, nettle it gives me back nettle if I say something like uh, wizend okay it gives me back wizend and if I do Q it quits. So this is how I create an infinite loop. We use while, we use a true colon, and whatever we want to do, we do it inside that while loop. And we must have some way where we break out of that while loop because we don't want to stay in the while loop forever. So it's the user by entering a certain value that we actually leave the loop and to leave the loop we use the break keyword which specifies that we will now exit uh, the loop all right so this is the while loop It's quite useful as you will see um, as we progress um, to writing more programs throughout this course in the next video, I will take this code and put it into Python Tutor, and then we'll get a better understanding of what exactly is happening. I'll see you in that video.